Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve university question paper of April 2019 of the subject strategic financial management. Again, a very important uh, video for all the TYBMS M6 student. Now, uh, since there are a lot of sol you know solving in this particular paper, uh, this paper has been divided in three parts and three videos will be posted. Uh, you know so that you can easily understand the sum and it doesn't go overloaded okay so this is the very first part of this paper which we are going to solve okay this part the entire paper will be divided in three videos and it, the entire paper will be solved okay so let's see the first part of the video okay now let us see the very first question question number 2a the details regarding two companies are given below uh, a limited and B limited, we have given you the rate, they are given you cost of capital and they are given you the earning per share. By using Walter's model, calculate the value of an equity share of each of the companies and the dividend payout ratio is 20% and if it is 50%. Okay. So now let us see how to solve such kind of sum. Okay. Now first of all, we will note down uh, the Walter's model ka formula. Now we know that. Under Walter's model, value of share is equal to D plus R upon cost of capital into E minus D, the whole thing upon cost of capital. Okay, where D is the dividend, R is the rate of return, K is cost of capital, E is the earning per share. Okay, now how to get, okay, how to find uh the value basically okay now they have given us the rate of return first what we do first we do for a limited and then we do for b limited <coughs> now they are giving you the rate of return at 15 percent k that is nothing but cost of capital 10 percent okay earning is 10 rupees and we need to find uh basically the dividend is not given so first we'll find the dividend now, in the first case, the dividend payout ratio is uh, 20%. Okay, so it, it's very simple. Whenever dividend payout ratio is given, whatever is your earning. Okay, so whenever they give you the dividend percent, okay, so very simple, whatever is your earning on that, we have to take that particular percentage. So I'll even write one more formula here. Dividend is equal to the dividend percent into earning. Okay. So now in the first case, in the first case, when the dividend is 20% uh, and the second case may when it is 50%. So first what I'll write, I'll write it here as A limited and either I'll write B limited. Okay, we have A limited and B limited. Now under A limited, first when the dividend payout is 20 percent okay when dividend payout is equals to 20 percent so your value of your share will be d d is your dividend now if you look carefully earning per share is 10 rupees and dividend is 20 percent so 10 into 20 percent will become 2 rupees so my dividend is 2 rupees plus the rate of return given is 15 percent the 0 0.15 upon the cost of capital is 10% so 0 0.10 into earning which was 10 dividend which is 2 the whole thing divided by cost of capital which is 0 0.10 so now very simple you will first minus it so this becomes 8 you will divide it okay and then you multiply it whatever answer you get added to 2 whatever answer finally you will get you will have to divide it by 0 0.1 okay so once you get that go as for the board mass okay so you will multiply then you add it and then you divide whatever answer you'll get your final answer of the value of your share should be rupees 140 okay okay for those who didn't understand look here now this is 10 minus 2 which is 8 into 0.15 divided by 0 0.10 plus 2 so that's a numerator ka total now that divided by 0 0.10 you will get your answer as 140 
okay this is when your dividend payout is 20 percent now in the same way in the same way now we will do when your dividend payout is 50 percent for a limited only okay when your dividend payout equals to 50 percent 50 percent meaning your dividend will be earning into earning per share into 50 percent so 10 into 50 percent is 5 rupees so 5 plus 0 0.15 rest values all remain the same okay it will be 10 minus 5 upon cost of capital is 0 0.10 so again it is the same 5 into 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.10 plus 5 whatever answer you get upon 0 0.10 and you will get your earning per share as rupees 125 okay now this was for a limited similarly we'll jump now for b limited again here also the same thing we'll start with dividend payout is equal to first when it is 20 percent now in our second scenario uh, the earning is again 10 so 10 into 20 percent is 2 rupees rate of return was 8 percent so that becomes 0 0.08 cost of capital is 10 percent so that remains 0 0.10 into earning 10 minus 2 upon 0 0.10 okay again 8 into 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.10 plus 2 divided by 0 0.10 the answer that everyone should get is rupees 84 Okay, and lastly, the same way we have to do dividend payout if it is 50%, then it would be your value of share would have been uh, 5 rupees plus 0 0.08 upon 0 0.10 into 10 minus 5 upon 0 0.10, which comes to rupees 90. Okay, this is how you all had to solve the very first sum where they asked us to solve as per Walter's model. Okay, Chalo. now we jump to the next second question. Uh, the following data is available from KPO Limited. Earning per share is given, rate of return is given, cost of capital is given. Calculate uh, the market price of the share of KPO Limited as per Gordon's model. If, if beta is 40%, 60% and 80%. Okay. Now, again, we are going to solve now this as per, first one was Walter's method. Now it is Gordon's method. So first we'll write down the formula. Okay. Under Gordon's model, the value of share is equal to earning per share into 1 minus beta upon upon cost of capital minus beta into the return okay so this is a formula uh, based on gordon's model now the very first thing what they asked us to find is uh, find the market price of the share of KPO Limited as per Gordon's model if number one beta. So in my first case, when beta is equal to 40 percent, I need to find the value of share. So let us try. Now EPS earning per share is already given in the question as 60 into 1 minus beta was 40 percent. So that will become 0 0.40 upon cost of capital is 15 percent. So that is 0 0.15 minus. Now this is beta into rate of return. Okay, so that beta was 0 0.40 into rate of return is 16%. So that is 0 0.16. Okay, so when you solve it further, this will become 60 into point, uh, 60 upon 0 0.15 minus. When you multiply, you get 0 0.064. You can now multiply, you minus it and then divide your final answer should be approximately rupees 418.60. Okay, this is one when your beta was 40%, second when the beta is 60%. So in the same way, value of share is, earning per share is 60, 1 minus beta is now 0 0.60 upon 0 0.15 minus your beta was 0 0.60 into return. Okay, again the same thing, you will subtract it, okay. 
then you multiply it again you multiply you subtract and then finally you divide the numerator with the denominator your final answer should have been rupees 444.44 approximately okay and in the same way the third part when your beta is equal to 80% value of share is eps 60 that will become 1 minus 0.80 upon 0.15 minus 0.80 into 0.16 if you solve for that it will become 60 into 0.20 upon 0.15 Minus when you multiply these two, you get zero point one two eight. Multiply minus divide, you get a final answer as approximately five hundred and forty five point four five. Okay, so this is how you all had to solve the sum based on Gordon's model. So first question was based on Walter's model. Second one was based on Gordon's model. Okay, I hope you all have understood up to these two parts. Okay, now let us see the next one. Okay, now let us see the uh, the next question. That was question number two C, which was for fifteen marks. A uh, mark limited belongs to a risk class for which the capitalization rate is ten percent. It has fifty thousand outstanding shares as number of shares. Okay, the so first thing was rate of capital, which was again cost of capital ten percent. Outstanding number of shares is fifty thousand. Current market price is hundred. Uh, it expects a net profit of 5 lakhs a net profit is given uh, and the board is considering a dividend of 5 rupee per share dividend is also given mark limited has a proposal for making a new investment of rupees 10 lakh new investment you are required to calculate the market price of the share when dividend is declared and not declared number 1 second number of new shares to be issued by the company if dividend is declared and not declared again declared not declared find the new number of shares and third uh, calculate the market value of the firm when dividend is again declared and not declared now always remember whenever you have a question in which they have asked you to find something when it is when dividend is declared and not declared it is always going to be based on morgan miller's model okay so remember that one thing okay now according to morgan miller or mm model how, how we can go on with so the mm model states that your current price is equal to your old market price into 1 plus cost of capital the whole thing minus your dividend okay so it goes with this particular formula so now based on this let us see how you can solve the sum so we are going to divide the sum in two part number 1 when dividend is declared and second when dividend is not declared okay so the very first thing they asking you to find number one market price of the share okay uh when dividend is declared and not declared so we need to first find the price that is market price the formula is p0 p0 is the current market price which is there so if you look in the question um, on the second line the current market price is rupees 100 so we need to find the price at the end of the year so current market price is 100 into 1 plus cost of capital given as 10% in the question on the very first line so 0.10 dividend is also given in the question as rupees 5 So one point zero one, okay, into hundred, okay, that becomes hundred and ten minus five is hundred and five. So the market price at the end of the when dividend declared hundred and five. In the same way, if dividend is not declared, okay, current price is hundred, one plus zero point one zero minus dividend. Dividend is not declared. If not declared, this becomes zero. So this will become hundred and. 10 Okay that's the first thing what they are asked us to find find the market price when dividend is declared and not declared Now second they ask you to find the new number of shares okay Now in order to find the new number of shares you need to first find the amount of finance which is required Always remember to find number of shares there are two step first you need to find the amount required and then we'll get the number of shares 
तो अमाउंट ऑफ फाइनेंस रिक्वायर्ड द फॉर्मूला इज वेरी सिंपल इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लस डिविडेंड माइनस अर्निंग्स ना इफ यू लुक इन द क्वेश्चन दे से दे गोंट टू मेक अ न्यू इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ टेन लैक्स तो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स प्लस Now dividend given in the question is five rupees, and there are fifty thousand. There are fifty thousand shares. So five into fifty thousand is two lakh fifty thousand. So total dividend was two lakh fifty thousand. Less earnings. Now on the third line is given that it expected the net profit of five lakh. So that's my earning five lakh. Okay, investment ten lakh plus two lakh fifty that becomes twelve lakh fifty minus five lakh that becomes seven lakh fifty thousand rupees. That's the amount required. Now, number of shares. Okay, they are giving you uh, the number of new shares. So number of shares which are new to be issued. is equal to the formula is the amount required upon the market price of the share so amount required was 7 lakh 50000 the amount market price is the price what we found that is 105 so 7 lakh 50000 divided by 105 we'll get the answer as 7142.85 okay so i'll write it here as 7000 One hundred and forty-two point eighty-five shares are required. Okay, so this was the second part when they asked you to find the number of shares. So now let us see what will be the value of the new number of shares when dividend not declared. So again, I need to find first thing amount of finance required is investment plus dividend minus earning. Again, investment was ten lakhs plus. Now dividend. In this case, there is no dividend minus earnings. That was five lakhs. So instead of dividend, it became zero. So total amount required is five lakhs. Okay. Now the new number of shares. So number of new shares to be issued. Is amount required upon the market price of the share? The amount required was five lakhs. Market price of the share is hundred and ten. Again, when you divide, you should get the value approximately four thousand five hundred and forty-five point four five four. Okay, or we can just make it as four five. That was the second thing which they are asking the question. Third, now last thing, calculate the market value of the firm. So third thing. the market value of the firm is equal to total number of shares into the price okay so total number of shares meaning already the company had 50000 shares plus we have the new issue so we have 57142.85 into 105 so 57142.85 into 105 which comes to 599999 so i'll round it up to 60 lakhs okay same way the third for the market value is equal to total number of shares into price so here it will become 40 uh, sorry 54000 Five hundred and forty-five point four five into one hundred and ten. Five four five four five point four five into one hundred and ten. Again, when you round it up, it will come to rupees sixty lakhs. So always remember, when dividend declared or not declared, the market value of the share should always be same. Okay, this is as per MM model. Okay, so I hope everyone have understood the question number two, which was based on basically the first module. Okay, where We have three types of dividend policy. One is based on Walters model. Second is based on Gordon's model, and third was based on Morgan Miller or MM model. Okay, I hope everyone have understood how to solve this question number two of the paper. Okay, chalo. With that, we will be ending this video here. Stay tuned for the other video where we will be covering up the other part of the paper. Thank you.